everybody. Uh, welcome back to Raise Your Dreams. It's been a long time since I've been on camera. Uh, I've been a little bit sick uh, and I'm still recovering. Not really gonna go into it, but I am so excited to show you all our new rack. It's gonna be our new way of transporting our Razor. Uh, we have a 21 Turbo S4 uh, right behind me, right here. So um, yeah, let's just get into this thing. I'm gonna show you what it's all about. This isn't gonna be a series. Uh, so I do plan on making a few more videos of this thing. Uh, so please don't be disappointed that I won't be able to get, the, get out the ramps for you. Uh, we are not gonna load it on this uh, video. We are gonna load it on another video. And then there's gonna be probably another one where I talk about the logistics of purchasing one, ordering it, um, the timelines, how much mine actually costs and um, how I feel about the whole, whole overall experience. Um, maybe we'll even do one more about um, the differences between having a toy hauler, a trailer, a camper, a rack, and all the logistics that go with that as well because there are significant differences and issues with all of them. So let's just show you the rack and see how this goes. So I have my rack sitting on a 2017 Ram 3500 with the Cummins Ison transmission. Um, this also has uh, the upgraded uh, air leveling system in it. So my my uh, carrying capacity in the bed of the truck is about 3,700 pounds. All right, well, starting from the back, I can tell you without a doubt, I have the utmost confidence in these welds. So that's my number one priority here is making sure that we have a unit that has um, an exceptionally good build quality. Um, this one knocks it out of the ballpark. So these racks are made by many different people, but the one that I bought came from these guys over at Ramp Tech. Um, so uh, just to show you kind of what we're, we're looking at here, we have a rack that can hold my Turbo S4. Uh, we do have a pretty large unit here and this 2200 pound machine is going to be able to go up on top of that rack without a problem. Um, it is wide enough for that 75 inch stance that it technically has. Um, it's specified uh, on the Polaris website at about 74 inches, but overall this thing is about 75 and I can accept up to about an 80 inch unit on this on this rack right here. I also ordered the 12 foot ramps. Um, they build these in house as well. These are aluminum, um, so we're not going to have any rust issues. And these are also um, displaying some very just professionally machine grade welds, which is probably what they're using on these things. Um, so these ramps are going to be able to handle um, the the weight of the razor because they are an upgraded ramp um, when you order this rack they come standard with the 10 foot ramps but um, i opted for the 12 grade uh, excuse me the 12 foot upgraded aluminum ramps and i think that was a good decision because it will be able to hold more weight and it will uh, decrease the incline from uh, the the side by side going up onto the ramp itself now, the only thing I don't really care for in the back here is how these ramps are stored. Um, Ramp Tech built these, they, they welded these kind of strange looking little hinge things on here. Um, but I don't really know exactly how they work. I've put these ramps in all of which way and I still can't figure it out. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build two wooden trays kind of um, and just so that way I can store them right side up and just slide them back and forth without dragging them on the bed of the truck. Um, and that way I'll also have a lot more room here for storage. I'll probably either build a big, some type of a storage bin or something that I can slide back and forth, or maybe even just drop a fuel cell right there in the middle of the truck. Um, that might be a good option too, but now here are the hooks for it. Um, this is kind of how you tie it down in here and um, you, they use these turnbuckles and I actually bought some upgraded um, D, I think they're like C rings or whatever they're called. I can't remember, but um, you will need, you may need to extend them a little bit. Um, so that way you don't over overextend the turnbuckle, but it works really good. These things are solid. Um, it feels really good in the bed of the truck. It does not move whatsoever. And the, the strange thing about this is my truck actually rides a lot smoother with the, ex, with the uh, extra weight in the bed, which is cool. 
because uh, that's what I've really heard about these bigger Rams is the more weight you have in the bed of these trucks, um, the better they ride. And that's definitely starting to happen for me. And I can't wait to get the Razor up onto the ramp itself. Looking at the top in the back area, um, you can see, uh, ex excuse all the bird stuff. My truck's been sitting underneath this terrible tree that I hate and I haven't been able to drive in quite a while and I've actually been bedridden um, for a while as well. So I please ask that you excuse all the bird droppings. Um, it sucks, I hate seeing it. The truck's terribly dirty and I would normally had this all clean up for you guys, but it is what it is at this point. Um, when you order this, it'll come with these uh, strap downs that are bolted onto the frame. Um, I can appreciate them putting those on there but i don't think I'm, I'm actually positive i'm not going to use these things um, i am going to strap my razor down by the tires onto these cross members here that the unit's going to be sitting on um, but they do have four of them so that's good if you decide to use those and there is also a tie down point way up in the front that i'll show you uh, in a little bit i'll give you a better uh, view of that but I'm probably gonna take those off and just like I said, I'm gonna use two inch um, tie down straps on each of the tires. Um, I have talked to a lot of guys out on, the, on some uh, rack forums and they say that those, uh, that is a really good way to tie down your tires, tie down your unit to the rack, not gonna have any issues and I'm pretty confident in that too. It will come with these side walls. Um, so from the bottom here, it looks like it's about a good seven to eight inches. Um, which I think is just plenty sidewall to keep you from driving off the side of it when you're coming up. Um, so I'm not really too concerned about that either. It's also supported by these cross beams here in the middle. So you have one, two, three, four cross members going from left to right or side to side in addition to the front overall um, beam that's running across there and the rear one as well. So there's your rear beam that comes across the back here. So let me just run you past a couple of these welds. Uh, they're really beautiful actually. And I was just super happy when I first saw them. So let's just uh, kind of look at a couple of them. So the one thing that I will definitely say that I like much more about this style rack is the way this one is built and how it slopes up from the middle, uh, kind of the middle back of the truck. Um, I have seen some that were built that they go straight from the back all the way up to the front and it's just like one straight ramp. Um, that sets your unit really high in the air and probably creates a lot more drag. Um, this one, the unit sits very level on the bed of the truck and the top of the cab, which I think is the best way to, to uh, pull your razor. I also like the fact that it doesn't go all the way up to the back of the cab. So this has your, your cross members here. They stop right before the glass. They're not very close to the glass. So I don't have any concerns at all that we're gonna be touching um, the back part of the windows. When we're loading this thing, there isn't gonna be any of that um, shaking back and forth. This seems to be exceptionally well designed and built and um, I'm very excited to get this thing up here, man. Well, this is what it looks like from the front. Um, it's very prominent. You can definitely see it when it's on here. I think it looks really good on my truck. I actually love it. I love my truck a lot more now um, that it's on there. I loved it before, but now I really, really love it. Um, but it has plenty of room up on the top from the, from the bottom of the rack to the cab. So if you want to put some light bars or something underneath there or whatever, there's plenty of room. It looks like there's about eight to 10 inches um, from the cab to the bottom of the rack. Um, and it also has your front, uh, kind of like a fence here that'll stop the front tire from going too far over as well. 
So by the time you're up to this, this point, you should be just putting it along and then you'll feel that stopping point. Um, but I'm hoping that the back tire will actually stop and grab onto the bottom here first before we even feel it on the top, but we'll see, I'm not sure. So this is a straight shot from the back passenger side and we're looking down the windows here at the mirror and if you just pan up a little bit you will be able to see how far over this rack um, hangs to the side of the truck i would say overall it's probably hanging over two and a half inches from the very side of the door here to the side of the rack so it does extend past the width of your truck that's for sure um, or of my ram anyway um, so there's that i guess uh, climbing up top here again um, just amazing welds all around they all look the same pretty sure they're using some type of a machine to do them um, but that's your uh, forward tie down point that you could use as well if that's something that you want to do um, i don't know if there's somehow you could put a winch up there just in case you do need to winch this thing up um, probably be better off putting the winch somewhere back here so that you're not going to have any cable issues which is something that we might do in the future i have no idea i don't even think i'll need to do it but i think that if you wanted to you probably could and my overall impressions of this thing is it's a badass so um this is basically all i wanted to show on this video um this thing is built incredibly well it looks sexy up here um, it looks tough and I can't wait to use it. So thanks a lot for tuning in. I really appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Um, don't forget, there are going to be more videos on this rack. We're going to do loading and all that stuff too. If you have any questions for me on this thing, go ahead and drop them down in the comments list below. And I guess we'll catch you next time.